Happy Halloween! Have we got our trick-or-treating masks ready? I'm a scary witch. We are <laughs> dragons! <laughs> Boo! Good job! You all look very scary. Let's see if we can find some treats for everyone. Yay! <laughs> Hey, Derek, you wait here. Um, what mask should I use first? Ah! Trick or treat! Oh, <laughs> hello, little vampire. My first trick or treater. Let's get you some candy. There you go. Bye now. Thank you, bye. Trick or treat! Whoa! A scary monster! Oh, lots of monsters out tonight! Oh! Well, that's all I've got left! Woohoo! Look at all these treats! So, uh, what do I do, Norman? Push! <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Looks like I won't get to do any champion apple bobbing this year after all, Penny. Not unless Elvis hurries up. I hope the trick-or-treaters are having more luck. Push, Derek! Strange. No treats left. And Halloween night's just started. How can we go trick-or-treating if there aren't any treats? Oh, there must be some somewhere. Dillis, we've got a little problem. I don't suppose you've got any spare candy at the shop. Three whole bags? Yeah! Well, that's wonderful, Dillis. We'll be right over. I put some wedges under the wheels this morning. I can't understand what could have happened to them. Ready. Steady. Go. Ah, and Norman Price, race car driver, takes the lead. Norman! Look out for the wall! Uh-oh! Ah, ah. Norman! Use the brakes! Oh. has fallen off the dock in a go-kart. I'm on it, sir. Calm down, Norman. We're here now. 
Try to grab hold of the rope. Firefighter Morse and Firefighter Jones all pass the exam. Now, Cradlington. I've got a bad feeling about this. Fire at the Flood's house. There's a fire at the Flood's house. Penny, shut off the electricity. Okay, Sam. Elvis, check that everyone is all right. Okay, Sam. Is everyone okay? I think so. Where's Mandy? Oh, no. She's still in the box. Don't worry, everyone. I'll rescue her. Thanks, Penny. Mandy! Mandy! Oh! Huh? What happened? It's all right, Mandy. Everything's going to be okay. Come with me. <coughs> oh, thank goodness. Oh. Yay! Oh. Yay! 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 Thank you. Yeah. There, Mandy. Safe and sound. Here, I've already put the bait on. Oh, watch the hooks, they're sharp. Keep your line still, Norman, or you'll frighten the fish. <laughs> yes, we know, but it got away. Another mackerel. Well done. It's not as big as my mackerel. Oh, come on. It's way bigger. Show me your fish, you two. I'll measure them. They're both exactly the same size. It's a whopper. I've caught a whopper. Big is so far by miles. I'm taking this home for my dinner. Oh, it's ready to cook, too. Hmm. Straight out of your mom's freezer, huh? Oh, what a cheat. Hmm. Um, it was only a joke. Bring your lines up, kids. The tide's going out. Time for us to head back. Norman Price, stuck down the old well. Boy stuck down the well, near the valley path. Quick as you can, Sam. He could be short on food. We can't use the A-frame to lower us down. It's still on top of the training tower. It'll take too long to get it. Looks like you'll have to abseil down the well, Sam. Good luck, mate. Keep your strength up. Uh, thanks. Almost 
there, Penny. Oh, oh, it's Sam. He's here. Get him out, Sam. Oh, say you will. Of course I will, Dillis. Okay, Penny. You secure the rope to that signpost. I'll check on Norman. Okay, Norman. I'm going to rappel into the well to get you out. Okay, Sam. Nice and easy, Sam. Oh, isn't he brave? Never mind about that, Norman. What were you doing in the well, Norman? I'm sorry, Mom. I couldn't wait for my birthday to get a new skateboard. When I heard the well was full of pennies, I thought I could use them to buy one. Oh, you're a very impatient boy, Norman Price. I know. Sorry. It's just I really loved my skateboard. That's why I bought you this. Oh, that, now on one condition. No playing in wells and no skateboarding in your mom's store. I won't. I promise. Whoa! Wow, that is really cool. Nobody snowboards like Billy Bob Blizzard. I bet I could. Ha, in your dreams, Derek. Anyway, I'd be much better than you. You? I don't think so, Norman Price. I'd be awesome. Well, we'll never know, will we? Because we don't have a snowboard. You're right, Derek. We don't have a snowboard. But we do have my mom's ironing board. What are you gonna do with that? You just wait and see. Hello, Helen. It's Sam. I was wondering whether Mike was there. We have a burst pipe at the fire station. We need his help. Sorry, Sam. Mike's out on a job. I'll try and get a hold of him. Great. Thanks, Helen. Bye now. Let's hope Mike gets here soon. Well, until he does, Cridlington has the situation well under control. Cooking in the kitchen, dishing out the mash. When the pipe starts spurting with a splish splash splash. Oh, bop shoo -a Oh, no, another leak. Yeah, there. Phew. Ah, now that's what I call a snowboard. Watch this. Ah. Whee! Nice trick, falling face first into the snow, Norman. Ha, huh, like you can do any better. I can. Watch this. Whee! You're just going in a straight line. Even my mom could do that. I'll make you an obstacle course. Then we'll see how good you are. <laughs> oh. Smells so good, Bronwyn. I'm not the cook tonight, Helen. I'm putting my feet up. <laughs> so you have to put up with my cooking and the help of my two lovely assistants. Hello, Dillis. Where's Norman? Oh, well, he wanted to go skateboarding. But look what he made me for Mother's Day. What is it? It looks like a bottle cap nailed to a piece of wood. James, don't be rude. It's a candle holder. 
I hope you don't mind if I use it, Bronwyn. No, Dillis, of course not. Not at all. <laughs> uh, oh, Mother's Day is silly. All my friends are busy with their moms, and skateboarding's kind of boring on your own. Thank you for inviting me out, Trevor. This was a lovely idea. A candlelit dinner Oops. for two. Sorry! Huh? Ah! Ah! Careful, ah! Dennis! Ah! Fire! Fire! Okay, everybody, stay calm. We all need to leave the restaurant. Come on. Come on, children. Let's go. <gasps> At the Whole Fish Cafe? Fire at the Whole Fish Cafe! Quick as you can! It's not a false alarm this time, Sam! Charlie called it in himself! Elvis, take the hoses. I'll check to make sure there's nobody still inside. Okay, Sam. Mom! Mom! Norman, stay back! But my mom's in there! Your mom's over here, Norman. Norman! I suppose I could have a turn, could I? Norman Price and his go-kart have ended up in the sea? Hasn't that happened before? Apple bobbing this Halloween, but it's time for some Norman bobbing instead. Norman bobbing? How do you do that? Well, you're allowed to use your hands, but you have to lean out really far and keep your balance and... gotcha! you about that go-kart of yours. I know, Mom. But I had this brilliant plan to get every treat in Ponty Pandy. Every treat in Ponty Pandy? No wonder there weren't any left. We like trick-or-treating, too. Uh, 
Yeah, sorry about that. Mm. On the count of three. One, two... Stop, Mrs. Chen! Moose! I got a message from Fireman Sam. He says the wind's changed. Why, yes it has. It would be very dangerous to release the lanterns now. All right, everyone, blow your candles out. What? But it's all ready to go up, up, and away. And I've waited so long. Hmm. Oopsie. Norman Price. Well, it, it just slipped out of my fingers. But, oh, oh, isn't it beautiful? It's not beautiful. It's dangerous. The wind's blowing it right into <gasps> the, the pine, pine forest. forest. I better radio for Fireman Sam. A forest fire up in the mountains? <gasps> Sam, there's a forest fire up in the mountains. I think we'll need Tom Thomas's helicopter and Bessie for this one. Don't worry, Tom. We're on our way. We need to stop that fire. It's headed straight for the kids. Stand by, Elvis. Time to use the sticky foam. Right you are, Sam. Click the switch, Penny. Ooh. That sticky foam can really stop a fire, can't it, Sam? It certainly can, Elvis. <laughs> I love sticky foam! <laughs> and now Tom Thomas will be able to put the rest of it out from above. Well done, team! Is everyone okay? Yes, thank you, Fireman Sam. But it's no thanks to you, Norman Price. That fire would never have started if you'd listened to instructions. Ah, uh, sorry, Mrs. Chen. Sorry, Fireman Sam. I think we need to find a slightly safer place to float these lanterns. Don't you? Oh, where's that? I'll paint another one. It'll be beautiful. No, Norman. You're just going to be watching after the trouble you've caused. Aww. There we are, everyone. Well, nothing dangerous nearby. Wind blowing gently and in the right direction. You're clear to go. One at a time now. You go first, Sarah. Ooh. Look, there's one. Ha, I saw it first. That's not a peregrine. It's a seagull. I know what a seagull looks like. That was a peregrine. Let me see. It's my turn with the binoculars, Sarah. No, it's not. Oh, we'll never see one here. We need to go higher up. But that peregrine was flying down to the valley, just like Tom said. It was a seagull, Norman. Come on, back in the bus, everyone. <sighs> Why does Trevor always think he knows best? Because the air conditioning won't work if the windows are open. It's not working anyway. That's the problem. There's nothing wrong with the air conditioning. Then why is the arrow pointing to the red space on the temperature gauge? Oh, look! Smoke! Ah! Oh, oh. oh, no! Everybody out! No! Keep far back. I'm just going to investigate. In the hood, you'll let the air in. I know what I'm doing. Ah! Oh, no. ah! oh, Trevor, call Fireman Sam. A, a bus on fire? Oh, no. There's a bus on fire in the Potty Pandy Highlands. That would be Trevor's bus. He's taking the kids up there this afternoon. What? No time to lose, then.
did good getting everybody out in time. Although the fire wouldn't have been so bad if you hadn't opened the hood. Really? Are you sure? Oh, yes. I learned about it in training today. So did I. Air always makes a fire worse. That's right, isn't it, Sam? That's why I said not to open it. I should have listened to your advice, Norman. In fact, several people gave me good advice today and, well, I didn't listen to any of them. You see, Norman, when you paint windows, you always start with the upstairs windows first. Do you know why that is, Norman? No, Mike. So that if you drip any paint from the upstairs windows, it doesn't land on the windows that you've just painted downstairs. I thought Mrs. Chen's job was boring, but this is like watching paint dry. I'll have you know that's a very responsible job you got there, Norman. Uh, ooh, there's my packed lunch. I've got a chocolate bar in there. Nearly, nearly got you. Uh, Aha! in trouble again. Do you want to press the siren, Sarah? Oh, yes, please, Fireman Sam. Yeah. Hang on, Mike. I'll be there in no time. Now watch this, Sarah. I can't hold on much longer. Nearly there. Yeah, gotcha. Bring us down, Penny. Well, Norman, I hope you're enjoying Learn About Jobs Day. Not really, Fireman Sam. All I've done is hold a ladder and got my chocolate bar covered in paint. Don't you worry, young Norman. Next, I'll be showing you how to fix a sub pump. Oh, no. <laughs> when he hears that fire.